Today, new equipment has made it easier and more efficient for the railways to accommodate almost any kind of freight. There are cars designed expressly to carry reels of cables and cars with extra large doors for easy handling of goods. The railways have found it necessary to design special equipment to meet the needs of its individual customers. Tri-level cars now carry more than half the new automobiles produced and two-thirds of all automobiles are transported in enclosed cars. Canada's grain harvest is moved in covered hoppers. These cars can be loaded and unloaded in just a few minutes. Forest products are moved in several kinds of railway cars. One type transports tons of finished lumber to distribution compounds across the country. Another carries pulpwood to the paper mills. A third type carries wood chips to the same destination. And yet another carries the finished newsprint to metropolitan areas in Canada and the United States for distribution. Fertilizer products for crops both north and south of the border are transported in giant covered hopper cars. 100 tons can be loaded in 12 minutes through hatches on top and unloaded in three minutes through gates under the cars. There are also cars to handle dry and liquid bulk materials such as flour, plastics, chemicals and some kinds of grain and fertilizers. Using a system of pneumatic loading and unloading called cargo flow which speeds up transfer between truck and train, literally inhaling the cargo at the loading point and exhaling it at the destination. Railways are uniquely qualified to handle large bulky items which often could not be moved by any other means of transportation. A series of huge tumbler sections are moved on specially designed well fleet cars 